throw away. Honey, don't. $25,000. His value has skyrocketed following four wins from as many starts, including this sensational performance in the Bankstown Derby last Monday night. The mobile barrier slowed suddenly seconds before the start. Gay Adam, when restrained by trainer driver David Aiken, broke and dropped out to the rear. With two laps to go, he was standing them up a huge start. And when he hit the front in the run home, the crowd stared in disbelief. But it's Gay Adam in an unbelievable effort. Gay Adam. I think he's got a great will to win, the horse. Um, he's got a character where he's, he's a little bit arrogant and he sort of seems arrogant of his opposition too when he races. He's an exciting type of horse and uh, I've never driven a horse, um, you know, to do what he did on Monday night. Aiken was in for more surprises at Harold Park on Friday night when his champion won a heat of the New South Wales Pacers Derby. After doing plenty of work in the race, Gay Adam just treated the opposition with contempt. New South Wales Harness Racing has two super ambassadors at the moment. Two weeks ago, champion two-year-old Rolly Aller paced a world record mile at Harold Park, and now Gay Adam has emerged as the king of the three-year-olds. Yep, $25,000 from New Zealand about three months ago. How the heck they ever bought him that cheaply, you would never know. But I can tell you that immediately after that race on Friday night, a staggering offer was made for Gay Adam, and Connections are going to do a lot of serious thinking over the weekend. So there could be some big news coming up in this forthcoming week. In America, jockeys have been cut down to size and a new kind of horse racing. They weigh only 22 pounds, but they're a very big hit with punters. They're under starter's orders in Memphis for the craziest horse race in the world. Eat your heart out, Pat Eddery and Steve Cawthon, for Super Jock has arrived. The new robot jockeys are the $2 million brainchild of Tennessee rancher Charles McVean. The jockey is radio controlled, its robotic arms managing the reins. A trackside trainer guides his horse round the track and can power his nag onwards through a whip attached to Super Jock's backside. Diet's not a problem, all these jockeys weigh 22 pounds and they keep their mechanical minds on the job. Even the cheerleaders fail to distract them. The racing is staged indoors with tiny hackney ponies. Mr. McVean reckons Super Jock will sweep the world and he's applied to the American equivalent of the tote for a license to run gambling. Horse to watch from Randwick yesterday, Cheval de Zer ran a great first up second to Bad Galiz and is certainly one to watch. Max, I've just worked out a way to, to get those ashes uh, back next year. What about some robot cricketers? Week was last night. Tunde Foster, left hand, down goes Lamont Buchanan. The best one-headed alley-oop of the week, you've got it, Lakers game one, Magic to Cooper. The best catch by a left fielder, Dan Gladden of the Minnesota Twins, who robs Marty Barrett. The best catch by a center fielder, Eric Davis of the Cincinnati Reds, who goes back, leaps up, over the wall and robs Jackie Clark of a home run. The best catch of a right fielder, Andre Dawson of the Chicago Cubs. The best catch by a first baseman who first trips, then regains his balance, Billy Buckner and a somersault. The best play by a second baseman, Al Newman of the Twins, who goes in the hole, on the ground, gets up and throws out Dwight Evans. The best play by a pitcher, Braves David Palmer, who backhands the ball on the mound. The best sliding catch by a catcher, Gary Carter of the New York Mets. All right, Gary. The worst catch by a second baseman, Steve Sachs of the Dodgers, who goes back, loses the ball in the sun, and the ball hits Sachs in the nose. The worst move by an infielder, Dodger third baseman Reggie Williams, who loses a battle with the auxiliary scoreboard. The best catch of the week by a fan, Devon White, Long drive left field Yankee Stadium. Now watch this fan in left field without a glove. All right, fan. And Faith Daniels was at the game, <laughs> showing you how she spends each afternoon preparing for the CBS Morning News. This is wonderful. <laughs> You're looking good, Faith. Oh, I should say. Thanks, Warner. But we're, we've got a news flash here and bad news uh, for the West Coast Eagles. Two players that were up suspended or up, up before the tribunal this morning, Laurie Keane and uh, Dean Laidley. Keane got two weeks, 
and lately suspended for a week, and uh, both on striking charges. And uh, I was rather surprised about that because I didn't even see the incidents. But at uh, any rate, uh, we've got uh, the State of Origin action coming up next with those gloating New South Welshmen. So don't touch your dials. <laughs>